Hello everybody, it's me, Shaw the Shaw Games 1. Today I'm going to show you how to transform this Minecraft character into a profile for YouTube. So, what you're going to want to start out to do is go to File, New, and set your width and height to 800 so that it works for YouTube. Hit OK, and create a new layer. And do not draw within the background layer, draw within the layer 2. Next, click your rectangle, hold shift and drag to make a large box, basically. Next, hit your rectangle select, hold shift, drag, make sure you've collected all that, hit control plus X, then control plus V. Make sure that box is centered correctly because that is the head of the character. That looks pretty good. Now hit control D, get your line slash curve tool, and start about right here on the head. Hold shift and drag down. Then fix these lines up so that they look like shoulders. Now do the same for this side. Actually messed up a bit there. Alright. So now that that's looking pretty good, go ahead and get this going, your magic wand, and good. It's at 68%. On default, it will be 50. Make sure it's around the high 60s. So let's take a look at your skin. On this one for me, it looks like he's wearing kind of a coat with an undershirt, all that kind of normal stuff. So let's begin getting the arms away from the rest of the body. So we're going to click right here, get our paintbrush out, and draw like that. Or you could use the line slash curve tool, draw straight down, and pull it all like that. That looks all right too, but I prefer, I prefer the paintbrush. So we'll do that. All right, that looks pretty good. Now select your magic wand again, click on this arm and hold control and click on this arm as well then release zoom on down and make the biceps for the character gotta have them looking good make sure it looks real nice by the way for the viewers watching I do not have a Wacom tablet I'm using this with my mouse so just so you know it's actually not that hard to do. If you're having trouble with it, get a Wacom tablet and it can help you. Next, draw these above the arm, make it curved at the top of the arm. And there you go. Now, use the magic wand, select here, and let's fix this up a little better. And draw those lines down, get this, Make it a bit more like that, because it is a kind of coat. And there you go. Click in there and get the undershirt. Draw a few lines here. There you go. Just making it look good. Okay, now for this part, click on the arms again. Hold control to click on both. Get your line and drag like that. Make sure it's good looking. Okay, it goes a little bit that way. So all we have to do is go like that. Don't even have to interrupt with the other lines. There we go. Looking almost perfect. That looks good. Okay, now hit Control D to unselect that. Now we've got all this set up. Get your magic wand out. Select the arms, not this part, only these parts. For your skin, it may be different. Just make sure you're getting all the colors separated and correct. Now, for when you're using a gradient, use this, the color picker. Collect the darkest color with the left click, and then go to the brightest color and click the right click and go back to the arm hit gradient 
and go to radial. Click in the middle with the right click and drag outward to about this far. Now get your paintbrush and select a brush width of six. Zoom in down to the arms and draw the darkest line right there and do it above this one. Maybe a minimal difference but nevertheless a difference. Now go to a brush width of four and drag that for the secondary color. Drag this one all the way down along the line of the arm. And now do it there as well. By the way, if you ever mess up such as that, just hit Control Z. Now we'll go on to the other side and do this. Select your brush width to be high again and do the darker color here. Keep it even. By the way, please, when you do this, avoid being lazy. When you do this, do not copy and paste this because if it looks a little different, then that's fine. It should look a little different. No two snowflakes look alike. So keep it a little different. Do not copy and paste every half of everything. It'll start to look like a weird mirror. All right, now select your magic wand again. Select these two colors here. Well, these two spots on both sides. Then there and there. Next, go on to the skin, select the darkest color, and the brightest color. Go back, get the gradient, and choose the uh, linear reflected. Right click in the middle, drag out. Now. Get your brush back out, hit it up to a brush width of 10, and drag down here along the top as if it's shaded. Do it on the top there as well, top there. Do a little bit of shine there. Nice shine. and you're right clicking to get the second color. Next come back over here and do the same on this side and on this side. Now if you want you can draw a dark line all the way along down here and all the way along down here, make sure you're keeping it connected and looking good. Keep a steady hand when you do this and try to keep your whole hand on uh, the mouse. Don't let it slide off the side of your desk. Try not to keep it wobbly. Be slow in your movements. Don't draw all the way out here. Zoom in and make sure you get it accurate. All right. Now, if you want, you can do some stuff like this. Just kind of draw a little bit there just for the fun of it. It can look all right, but I'm not going to do that right now. Although, might do something like this sometimes. Again, that is all preference. I'm going to leave it as it is. Next, get your magic wand out again. This is going to be your favorite tool. And click right here. Go back to the skin. And since this is just a few colors. If it didn't have a dark color and if it was just this white, but obviously it goes down here and has this dark gray. If it just had white, then you would go to your colors and select a default dark gray or go to more and click the dark gray and click something that is to your um, approval. I'm going to go ahead and use the defaults that the skin has. Try to use the colors that the skin has provided you. You want it to look like the character and not like something that you dreamt up.
There you go. Get the darker color. Go down here. And make sure you're doing this. And since this is an undershirt, do the sides there as if there's a shadow. Take this down to a brush width of six. Draw along this side, along this side. Get a brush width of four. And go along this side and this side. Just gonna do that right there. All right. Actually, I'll keep it like that. Okay. Now, click right here. Select a black color for your primary, and get your brush width to two, and draw this little thing right there, like a little bump, and draw a second bump going into that bump. Don't cross it all the way. Just hit it to there and stop. Now, reselect it. Go here and find the darkest color of the face and the lightest color of the face. Again, if it was just one color, go ahead and go to the, the color that is set and make it a little darker for the primary. You want to have some differentiation. Go back here, get a gradient radial and just expand that a bit make it look good get your brush out and get a brush with 10 drag all the way across there 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 okay now go back to six go here here brush with the four and here. I'm sure you're beginning to see the picture, but again, with these steps, do not skip it. If you're skipping any of these steps, you are not going to get what you want. Do not be lazy about this. If you think you can use the line instead of the brush, go ahead and try it. If it does not look perfect, then do not use it. It needs to look good. And I know what you're thinking. These lines do look a bit bumpy. If that is driving you absolutely insane, go ahead and get a black color, fix that up, doesn't really matter. Um, I don't honestly mind those little things like that, but since I've already corrected a little bit, I'll go ahead and correct all of it. So, there you go. Now it's looking good. A little bit of problems right here. Just go ahead and drag that as well. This is can be a little tedious, but you want it to look absolutely perfect. So. That's looking pretty good. Next, you are going to going to want to use your magic wand, select within the head, and this is where it gets a little hard. So pay close attention. Have a white color and a black color. Primary is black. Go into here, make sure your brush width is two, and draw a slope kinda like that. If you need to use the line, then do the same but make sure it's a little more heavier on this side than this side. The slope should be higher over on the right, but I prefer paint. So you've done that. Now go here. Actually, I made that a little small, so make it a little bigger. Just make sure that slope looks nice and good like that. Then draw from here, pull up, not perfectly straight, but kind of bow it. Now here, do this. Oh, I messed up a little bit. Make sure your hand's steady. If you mess up once like that, just redo it. As many times as it takes. Mistakes happen, but you can always correct it. Now do that right there. This. And that actually make it a little closer there you go now click right here and select the dark gray get your gradient linear drag up with the left click click your paintbrush black change it to white with a transparency of four Next, set your brush width to 15. 
go here slide it once, slide it twice slide it a few times so it gets a nice look not perfectly white but definitely standing out and looking good alright next click here and go back over to the eye now this is a black eye but if it was something like this blue right here if it was this blue then you would select that blue color and you would select the primary as black then you would go here and you would use the radial gradient right click and drag out but since this is only black see that does look good but since this is only black you're going to want to click dark gray instead as you did with this and drag out next do the same thing that you did over there get white with the transparency of four and drag across, but try not to cover half of the eye, just cover the top of it. Okay, there you go. And right cl just click there. Make sure it's full white. Click, get black with the transparency of four. And just barely touch the sides of this. Don't drag for too long or else it'll get darker. The faster you are, the lighter it is. See? If you go really slow, it's really dark. If you go fast, it's light. So be mindful of that. Try to go a little fast. There you go. And if you can't be fast enough, select a lighter color. There. Now, you are going to want to select 30. Depending on the size of your eye, you're going to want to make it bigger or smaller. I'm going to select 30. Go to black, I mean, sorry, white, and set the transparency to 8. And then do this. Just not a perfect circle, but like that. Get this. Actually, 30 is a little bit big, so let's go for 20. Just kind of like that. And then always make the second circle half the size, 10, and draw it a little bit below. Now get full white and fill it so that it doesn't look silly right here go ahead and select that to 20 there we go and hit control D so you can deselect it hit rectangle select drag do that and hit control X and then control V and place it exactly where you want it to be and I just realized that rhymed somebody give me a high five Okay, hit Control D. Next, open a new file, hit New, and hit OK. Do Control V again, Image, flip horizontal, click it again with this move selected pixels, but do not move it, just keep it there. Hit Control C, go here, and Control V. Next, drag your eye and keep it parallel with the other, and make sure there's enough space as there is here as there is over here. I'm going to keep it nice and centered. If you keep, think the eyes look too close together, don't worry about it. It actually doesn't look half bad when it's too close. But if it does worry you, just make the eyes a little smaller by dragging left shift and keeping it like that. I am going to keep it like this. Make sure it's centered. Once you have it the way you like it, hit Control D. Then you're going to work on the mouth. Hit black and white, go there, make sure your brush width is two, as usual. Draw right here and just do a normal smile, a little curve. Go a lot down here and bring it up. You can still do this with the line as well, see? But make sure you drag it here, hit control D, there and it still looks good but again I prefer to use paint okay now get your paintbrush back and do a simple line at the corner there you go now use your magic wand select there the whole face not the eyes or nothing else and get the darker and lighter colors of the skin tone next get the gradient radial right click in the middle and expand outward 
there you go. Now keep it selected and select your brush width to 15. Go to the eyes, zoom on in. Don't be afraid to get close. Right click and get that nice look under the eyes. There you go. Actually, I messed up a little. Oh no, I messed up. What will I ever do? Go like this. There. Hit Control D to deselect. And one thing, if you like this, I don't usually do it, but if you like it, go to a brush width of 60, get the line slash curve tool, hold left shift, and click with the left click and drag up all the way. And then do this on the sides. Oops, messed up a bit. Just do a straight line and then curve it a little bit. And that kind of looks nice. There you go. You can keep that or not. I am not going to keep it, but it can look good sometimes. Next, you're going to want to set your brush width to 6. Again, get your brush out. Actually, this is a small area, so get brush width of 4. Go here. And for the lighter color, always go with a smaller brush size and go 2. And there. And now you're going to do it for the eyes as well, right under this little curve that went here. Just take it there, and done. There, and done. And that's it. Now, before you begin the hair, make a new layer. Okay? Now, when you are doing the hair, you can either draw it with a paint and just do something random like that. That's not how I'm going to keep it, but you could do it kind of like that. But what I prefer to do is click on the lasso select, and you're going to have to be good with this. You're going to have to do it in one click. So click it and go about right here. See where he is. His starts all the way at the bottom, goes up, and then back all the way down to the bottom. But hair doesn't usually do that, so we are going to go a little different and start about here where it would be for this guy and then go up. So, we're going to go over here, start about this corner right there, not corner, but right there. And then you're going to start dragging up and down, all around, and then back down, and then kind of go a little silly with the sides. On the top, kind of just drag it back and forth, ever so slightly. There you go and then let go and it will have that area selected. Do not click anywhere else. If you mess up, redo it a few times until you get it the way you like it. Next, go over to the skin. You can click on here, but not on there yet. Go here, click here, the darkest color, and now you get the lightest color. Go back over here, select a linear gradient, and left click, drag up. Then what you're going to want to do is get your paintbrush out, set the brush width to 90, and get your dark color, make it black, and set the transparency to 4. If it's black here, make it a transparency of 8. Also, if you are doing a pure color for this, get such as black hair, get the black color and then the dark gray color and then do the linear gradient. If it's just one color, get a dark color and a light color all the time. Keep the light color on top, the dark color on the bottom. Next, now that you've got this ready, zoom out a bit, give yourself some space. You're gonna go like this, holding down, and just keep it like that. So now we're gonna go, start here, just slowly go in like that. And release. Come in and look at it. I want a little bit more here. I messed up a bit. Let's just do it a few times till you like it. Duh. Kind of self-explanatory. And hit Control 
D, if the colors look a little wonky, open up a new layer. I'll show you what that's like. So there's no shading. You open up a new layer. Then you can draw it so that the colors don't mess up. Sometimes they do. So just draw back and forth. If you think it looks too dark, then you can always use lighter colors. But I try to keep it in the layer three. So I'm just going to do that real quick. Do a little brushes in the same direction every time. Don't go this way and that way and this way. Go the same direction every time. Please do it every time. Okay, now if you want to be a little more stylish, you can drag all the way from the bottom to the top with the dark color. See that gets kind of a shadow going and you can kind of do that there as well. There, there, go lighter and faster each time. But I am going to keep it like this and hit Control D. Then go back to layer two, left click. And now you're going to want to go to the darker skin tone that you have. Left click, go back to the drawing and get a brush width of 15. Go down here and drag along the hairline. There you go. It may look a little minimal here. If you want to make it darker, then you can do so. But I'm going to keep it just like that. Actually, I won't. Hold on a second. Yeah, I'm going to make that a little darker. Just click here. There, making it a little darker will definitely stick it out better. And there you go. I always start from left to right when I do that. Then hit Control D, and you've got the hair and everything done. It does look pretty good. If anything's bothering you, then you're going to have to go back and fix that for yourself. Now, what you're going to want to do is go to your background, get a black color for your primary, and any color of your selection for the secondary, I'm going to go with a light green. Hit your gradient, radial, right click in the middle, and drag out. Now you can see I actually made a little bit of a mistake there. But anyways, no bother. Don't worry about that yet. Get that. Hit Control D. Go to your layer 2 if you already messed up on this like I did. So sorry, I forgot about this. Click, get a black and white. Get your gradient in a linear reflected, right click, and drag. You don't want any full black in there, just dark gray and white. Once you get it the way you like it, hit Control D. Oh my goodness, what did I do? Okay, there. Control D. There you go. Now that is looking pretty darn good, and that is how you make it. If you have any questions for me, please be sure to leave it in the comment section so that I can help you guys out. I love getting any recommendations for things you want me to do. If you want any of my art, you can buy it on my website. There will be a link in the description. I'm sorry, I do not make free art for anyone unless they have a thousand or more subscribers. So thank you for watching. I'm glad I could help you guys out. Drop a like if you enjoyed. And thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys later.